Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Gino, and today I'll be showing you how to create a banner for your YouTube videos. Now, banners are used a lot on YouTube now by many people, graphic designers, gamers, and all that kind of stuff. So I have four people here with four different kind of banners. Some with more um, detailed instruction and some with not. So this first guy I have here is named Nexus or Nexus, whatever. Um, his, as you can see, just has his logo, his title, the name of the speed art. The, um, I believe that's the song. Oh, that's his username right there. Fallen, and then the, the this is the I believe this is the title of the song over here. And as you see, he has his graffiti in the back and his little red banner thing. And now Mercer's is plain and simple. He has one tutorial time. It's a regular block, um, black box on the bottom with his Twitter on the side. Now his other ones was a, a like a U shape, um, banner. I'll try to look for that right here and show you. As you can see, the U shape right here with his logo in the middle, what he's doing, and a tutorial by Mercer. Um, triangles is more advanced. It's more, um, 3D and looking more abstract. So as you see, um, he had his graffiti abstract, abstract graffiti right there. Excuse me, and his username, and this looks a, a lot more detailed and cool as you can see. And it doesn't only have to be in the bottom. As you can see, it's on the top as well. But I mostly like it in the bottom to cover up my taskbar. But yeah, um, rated designs as well. This lo this one right here is used by OG Sketchy and I believe some other guys around Abstract Graffiti and not on his teams. But I remade his I remade um his little banner, but I did not use the square. I used the orb from a GFX from a GFX pack that I got from a guy named I'm Era. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm gonna show you how to create a simple banner and yeah, that's pretty it, that's pretty much it. All right, but here's the banner that I'm gonna be using from now on. This is basically a remake of the one, the one that Rated is using and OG Sketchy is using. So I'll go ahead and show you guys. So here it is. And as you see, this is the orb. This is my song. This is the video's name right here. And this is my graffiti in the back that I made and my text logo. Now I have like four different text logos. So probably at the end of this video or in my next video, I'll put all my logos down so you guys can see which one looks the best so I can keep one. So now I use this one in this video. Um this banner right now will be like you see here will be used in this video that I'm recording now. So you probably you probably be able to see it a whole bunch more better. But anyways let's get into it guys. So the first effect that I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make is the Mercer the Mercer one, the U shaped one. That one is really simple. Just go ahead and go over here to the rectangular marquee tool a simple box like that and then what you're going to do is go to the, the paint bucket tool and once you did that just get a color that you're going to want the banner to be um for instance i'm going to pick black or dark gray i believe that is and then i'm just going to deselect that by pressing control and d and the first thing you want to do is make sure that thing is selected and make sure it's rationalized if you didn't rationalize it already and go up here to edit come down to transform and go down to wrap and just simply just press the middle ones and drag it down to your liking. So I'm gonna do like this, like right there. And I'll probably put this up right here and up right here. Now, if you look at it on the corners and the edges, it looks all pixelated. To fix that, you just simply just go over it with the the um, pen tool. It's really simple. If you don't know how to use it, then just do this and cut it out. Cut the areas out that's not needed. Oops, sorry, but I'm not going to do that for now because this is a tutorial. So this is one way Mercer did his. Um, I'm going to create another one really fast for the new layer. And I'm just going to create the box, a simple box. So I'm over here, paint bucket, color that in. And bam, that's one, another simple one. And um, I'm not going to go create, I'm not going to create his because his is more abstract. But I believe he did use the wrap tool a lot. And he created his own wires and different kind of style. All right, guys. But if you want to create that one, you can. But today's tutorial, I'm only going to show you how to make this one and this one. All right. Now, you can use both of them in the layer thing. But you can just change the color of this one. So it looks like it's behind it, in other words. So move this behind it right here. It looks like it's 
kind of overlapping it to different styles. So basically, you can just create your own style um, thing that you want, and then once you're done, you move it down, move it up, whatever you want. And then you come over here to the text tool. I'm just going to use orange text for now. And make it say whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to do test. Test um text. Test text for this tutorial. Okay, so make it about 36 size. That would be always a good size for this. Come over here, and you can put it in the blue area. And if you have your logo, like a, if you have a custom logo, you can put it probably right next to it. Or your team. Um, you can put some more text right here, like subtext. I'm just going to put these two together so it looks more big. Okay, and you can merge these two. Um, yeah, rationalize them. Merge layers. Okay. Now, once you did that, um, you can just basically keep on adding different stuff. But the, on all, the peop all these people's backgrounds, I mean banners, excuse me, some of them like, okay, his is like a banner. I'm going to show you how to make that little square thing right now. And also, I'm going to show you how to make this little arrow tool thing. All right, so to make the arrow thing, just go to the shape tool, and it should be right under the bunny. Um, and just come over here and simply just drag. And if you drag it, it's going to go little. So if you don't want to look that, just hold shift down and drag out. So once you hold shift and did that, you can just basically move it wherever you want. I'm just going to put it there for the tutorial's sake. And just make it another one over there, on the other side of the background. Now, I'm going to show you also how to make the little banner that Nexus Nexus had. Excuse me if I'm saying your name wrong. Um, just, yeah. All right, guys. So, um, come over here to the polygonal lasso tool and just make sure your the square one. Well, yeah, let's just work with this one for now, the U one. Come over here, just click and drag sideways with the holding shift. And you can make it like that. And then press enter. So, it actually makes a little banner thing. So from right there on, make a new layer and color that in. Oops, sorry. Color that in with um, orange or whatever color you want. And then as you see, it's almost like coming out back. Like it's coming off the thing, off the banner page, as you see. So to fix that, just come over here to the, the banner. Make sure it's selected. Come over here to the magic wand tool. Select it. Go back to your banner. Click on it. And just press delete. But as you see, it deleted the thing inside, but you don't want that. So just right click it and press select inverse. So it deletes anything that's outside of the box. So as you see right there. And if you want to duplicate it and put it on the other side to make it match, um, you can. So you come over here, transform, horizontal. And as you see right there, it looks pretty cool. So that's one style right there, as well as the arrows. So, yeah, and then you could also just put the opacity down a little bit. Make it however you want, guys. Your banner, you be creative with it. Um, Add the glows, add textures to it. And once you're done making your banner, let's say I wanted to use this one, you're going to disable your background color. So there's no background, so it's like all pixelated in the back. Don't worry, because it's not going to be here, because you're going to save it as a PNG. You're going to go up here to File, Save for Web and Devices. And once that thing pops up, just take a while. Um, you can go ahead and scroll down and see your little banner, and the pixelated is actually fixed. Like this thing actually um makes the quality get more better. So yeah, it looks pretty ugly, but yeah. But once you play around with it and work with it and stuff like that, it should look more nicer. So then I come up here to all these different options. Come to PNG dash forty twenty four. Come over here to PNG dash twenty four as well. Make sure it's on transparent, and press save. I'm not going to save it, but yeah. Okay, so once you save it, it should be on your desktop. And all you have to do is drag and drop it into your videos file, and it should work. All right, guys, but that's basically it for the tutorial. If you guys want me to release or create a banner for you guys and then, like, create a, a pack or something, a banner pack or something like that, or a banner giveaway, just drop a comment below, and I'll think about doing that. All right, guys, but... Thanks for your thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace out.